What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to a new video. I'm super excited because if you guys seen recently, I did share that I had new shirt designs on Tee Public, but in that video I did say that I was going to be making this one, which is going to be Tee Public versus Red Bubble. It's basically to explain a little bit from each company, and so let's get started. So first of all, I am a Canadian and T Public is in the States. I think its headquarters is California. However, they do have three warehouses all over the US. I'm not sure exactly where they are, but because it is US, all the prices on their website are in the US currency. So if you do live in Canada like myself, you have to remember it is not in Canadian currency, so you are gonna have to pay a little bit more. Now the wait time to get your item if you order from T Public, because it is in the States, if you do live in Canada, for me at least, it was about three weeks. Whereas Redbubble, because it is in Canada, it only took within a week for me to get the stuff from Redbubble. But even though Redbubble is way cheaper and you do get the items way faster, you have to remember there is a huge quality difference. So that's what I'm going to be showing you right now. Okay, so up first is Redbubble. So right off the bat, this shirt, according to their size charts on their site, it should have fit. I chose an XL and it should have fit. Actually, it was supposed to be a lot more roomy according to their measurements on their site. This one here, however, feels extremely tight, especially around the arms. So right off the rip, it is not off. So for me, we're off to a really bad sign because the shirt itself seems pretty cheap. The next thing I want to go about is the design. So this design is actually different than my T Public design. The reason for that is because this is the first version of the design and the T Public is the updated version. Both designs, however, are supposed to be a transparent fadeaway, which it's supposed to start out as black. And then this one here, it's not supposed to be a lighter gray. It's supposed to be a little bit more transparent and then a little bit more transparent. And then the final one is supposed to be almost like it's see-through where you can still see the outline of what it's supposed to say, but it is still transparent. Whereas for this one from Redbubble, it's basically as if they just went black and then dark gray and then light gray and then almost like a white which is definitely not what I designed. I designed it to be a transparent fadeaway and that is definitely not what I actually got. So the other thing that I want to mention is this is the printing area right here for red bubbles. So they do have a smaller printing area. Now this shirt for me is not the greatest. In fact, I definitely will not be ordering from them in the future. I'm actually extremely disappointed in the outcome. The fact that the shirt is a little bit too tight, even though I use their size charts, and the fact that my design didn't come out how I actually designed it. It was supposed to be a transparent fadeaway, and this looks like they just made a lighter color each one. And if I had to rate them out of 10, this one here would be a big fat zero, just because the quality, everything about the shirt, to me, sucks. And now for the T Public one. So again, it is the same design, it's just a different font. Now I did use T Public sizing charts and an XL is supposed to fit and that is what I ordered. And to be honest with you, it is extremely roomy. It came out exactly how it was supposed to be. I ordered an XL, this fits like an XL. So I'm actually extremely impressed because it is very roomy. It is an XL, which is what I ordered. Not like the one I got from Redbubble, which actually felt like a large. And this design actually came out a lot better. It came out how it was supposed to be. So it is stretched down throughout the whole shirt and it is actually a fadeaway, which is what it was supposed to be. So if you guys seen the Redbubble transparent fadeaway, it wasn't a fadeaway. It was basically black, then dark gray, light gray, and then almost like a white. Whereas the T Public one, the one I am wearing right now, is actually a transparent fadeaway. So you guys probably can't tell on the camera here, but it starts off as black, and then it transparently fades away into a darker gray, and then a lighter gray, and then a light gray. So it is actually a transparent fadeaway. Again, you can't really tell on the camera here, but it is transparent through all of these ones, which I'm actually surprised that they actually could nail the transparency in a shirt, which to me, I'm extremely impressed with. I thought maybe it was just me, maybe it's something that can't be done, but with Tee Public, transparent designs can be done. 
The ink used for red bubble felt like if it was heated or if it was put into a dryer that it would just melt off. Whereas the Tee Public one here, it is thinner ink and it does feel like one that you can put in the dryer. And I think the label says that as well. I would recommend ordering from Tee Public, even if you do live in Canada and it is going to cost you a little bit more, at least you know you are going to get something worthwhile, something that you are actually going to wear and it is amazing quality. Now if you are an artist yourself and you're trying to figure out which company to go with, out of Tee Public or Redbubble, I would go with Tee Public because if you do have a social media following, they will, if you ask, send you some of your shirt designs so you can share with your followers. So you don't have to pay for your shirts. They will send you some of them as long as you have a social media following. So for me, Redbubble got a zero out of 10 and I wouldn't recommend them to anyone. Whereas T Public, I honestly would give them a 10 out of 10 and would recommend them to everyone just because they are so much better than Redbubble. They're an amazing quality shirt and I'm super proud of everything that I received from them. So I hope this has helped some of you decide which company to go with just because the quality for Tee Public, even though it is a little bit more pricier, is a little bit better. But I am going to leave this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.